Hi, I'm Jerry from PressureWasher.net, Bulldog Pro Pressure Washers. Um, we're going to be talking about this heater. Um, this is an example of our standard in heater systems. We want heaters to live a long time. This industry eats heater coils every six to eight years like clockwork because of the limited controls. We want you to have the controls and safeties that make these things last a long time. We also put indicator lights so these things are easier to troubleshoot. We give you several conveniences to, uh, to make it easier to troubleshoot. If you're down in the middle of the night and you need to finish a job, um, you need to be able to fix it quick. And if it's not easy, guess what? You lost the job, lost the contract, wasted time, whatever. So I put some insurance in here for you. First of all, a heater coil will explode if it's overheated and overpressured, and we put redundant pressure pressure controls on these. You're going to have a pressure control on your heat on your uh, on your pump system to protect the pump, but you also need a pressure uh, relief on the heater itself. And we put a pressure relief here, a, a pop-off style relief valve that has a hard ball, not a rubber ball for the, uh, for the, for the valve. That makes it a uh, adjustable and reusable functioning tool. Um, in fact, the pressure relief valves that have a rubber ball actually are dysfunctional. You can't even adjust it because the first time the water passes the rubber ball, it cuts a groove in it. And then you have to smash it down harder to make it stay uh, closed and not leak. That's a dysfunctional valve. We don't use those. We don't use pressure pressure switches for turning the heat on and off because a pressure switch doesn't tell you whether you've got flow or not. We only use flow switches. And the flow switch controls a relay on these 12 volt units that turns on the high voltage of the fuel solenoid. So you've got big contacts turning on the power to those devices, which makes them live longer. And we're only using a, a one amp of current to turn on the relay. So your pressure, your, your flow switch and your temperature control has an opportunity to live a long time. This is how to make things reliable. Also, we've put an indicator light um, right down here on the control circuit that tells us the um, power is getting through the control circuit to the relay. We've got a light that indicates there's power going to the control circuit, so you know when you're troubleshooting where the problem is. Troubleshooting is done in five minutes. We put a pressure gauge on the fuel pump, so we have an indication of whether you've got fuel, whether the fuel pump's turning the right speed, whether the, whether the uh, pressure is right, whether it's clogged or blocked or whatever. I mean, the pressure indicating the, the fuel pressure that it always makes every day is an indicator that there's nothing wrong with that half of the system. So again, your troubleshooting is down to just a couple of minutes in troubleshooting one of these things. If you don't have a pressure gauge, if you don't have the indicator lights, if you don't have the truth indicators on these things, then how are you going to troubleshoot that thing ever? It's always going to be more expensive. That's not the way we're doing it. This is designed to be long-term, low-cost, and simple to troubleshoot. We also make our, our heater systems um, and pressure washer pump systems modular so that you can turn them the way you need to and mount them where you need to for better balance on your vehicles, better balance trailers. Um, you can service it easier. You, can, you need to be able to get to things. If you can't get to it, who's going to do the maintenance? Who's going to do the service? So we've got a system that's set up with your long-term low cost in mind. We even put silicone seal on the inlet fitting here so that when, not if, but when the insulation breaks down a little bit, we don't have flames coming out burning the wires. I don't want you to have that downtime at all. Also on these heaters, one of the, it, one of the special efforts that we put into this is we put earthquake brackets on these things. Most heaters only have sheet metal screws holding the coil tank assembly down to the base. If you got in an accident, heaven forbid, or if the screws vibrated out from bouncing it down the road on your trailer, we don't want it to fall over on the freeway. That would be bad. So we put earthquake brackets on these. There's one on each side of this one, and they're held on from the very top right down to the frame with grade eight hardware. We're not cutting corners on anything. This is for long-term low cost, and the bolts that go through the top, no nylock nuts. They're gonna get hot, it's gonna melt nylon, 
we don't want to use nylock nuts up there. We're double nutting stainless steel. This is good stuff, okay? These screws are stainless steel and oversized, and we've got the earthquake brackets. This thing isn't going anywhere. And when we ship a heater, it comes with grade eight hardware for going through the floor. My machines stay on the trailers and the trucks that they're mounted on. They don't go flying. They need to be safe, right? So preparing for long-term co low cost, preparing for the abuse that it's gonna take bouncing down the road for the next however many years. The average lifespan on our heaters is 15 to 20 years. I've got machines out there that have 25 and 28 year old heaters. That's amazing in an industry that eats heater coils every six to eight years like clockwork because they can't go through the catastrophic trauma that causes the catastrophic failure. It can't be overpressured. That, that we even have a redundant temperature control on the inlet of the heater. No one else uses these. We put a, of course you've got a high temperature limit adjustable temperature control on your, on your heater, of course, for controlling the normal running temperature of the system. But we put a inlet temperature limit set for 140 degrees so that if there's no water flowing and the fire down here in the bottom half of the heater is heating up this piece of pipe right here, when it gets to 140 degrees, it just shuts the heater off. It can't explode. It won't have the problems that all the other heaters on the market have. This is designed for long-term low cost. We're not cutting corners on anything. On this system, the guy's even getting an AGM sealed lead acid battery, so he has the perfect electrical supply to it. And by the way, I have machines out there that are 15 and 20 years old that have the original high voltage igniters on them. This industry does not have to be eating 12 volt igniters. 12 volt heaters can be reliable, but we want it to be reliable. Maybe other people don't. If you want a heater that's gonna be reliable for the rest of its life, it's going to be live a long time to begin with, it's gonna be easy to troubleshoot and long-term low cost, here it is. This is the way to do it. At Sirocco, you'll find quality product. At Bulldog Pro, you'll find quality product. There are brands. We manufacture them here at PressureWasher.net. These are the cool tools that you need to go fast.